Harry, amazing job on this film. Congratulations on Supernova. I mean, this is an honest look at a loving couple that is facing one of the toughest things that many families are going through now. But hey, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, your journey for this process started in 2015. Can you expand on, on that a little bit more? Yeah, thanks, Joe. Um, yeah, I, I, it started for me uh, when a couple of things happened in my life that involved young onset dementia. Someone I was working with had young onset dementia and a friend of mine had to put her father in a care home um, when he was really young um, because he had it. Um, and it made me want to learn more about it. So I then went on a sort of two or three year uh, journey of um, research where I sort of, I worked with a lot of people who are living with this condition. I volunteered a lot and I worked at, um, a dementia specialist hospital in uh, London. And so the story really is inspired by those people that were kind of kind enough to give me their time and share their experiences with me. So it's a very, very personal film, yeah. Amazing. Now, one thing I love about this movie is the, ro is the road trip. Now, because th this couple is beautifully written. I love, I love their relationship, but why are road trip, uh, road trip movies such an effective method uh, to revealing more discoveries about characters? Well, I think a lot of reasons. Firstly, I think if you're taking characters out of their natural environment, that's always an interesting thing to do dramatically. And with a road trip, you're throwing them right in, you know, it couldn't be more public, right? And that's how we filmed it too, incidentally. There was no closed roads, no, nothing. Colin really drove the van. We were all really, you know, in the van, scared to death whilst he was driving. Um, you know, so uh, I think... The road movie felt like a good genre to explore with this film and an original thing to do. I hadn't seen it done before with this type of story, which is always, you know, what you try and do. Um, and also, I think what's cool about a road, making road movies in England is that no one makes road movies in England, really. And I think it's it's the stuff that you guys do a lot more and a lot better than we do. And I think there's something interesting in that. You know, you, you drive for long enough in the UK and you fall into the ocean. So, um, you, you know, you can't go on journeys that are that long. So it felt like an original thing. Now, I got to talk about the cast in this because they are phenomenal. And, and the, I mean, Colin Firth and Stanley Tucci, they, they might not be the most obvious choices for these roles, but mm. how did that casting process go? go? And uh, what surprised you about their performance uh, that you weren't anticipating? Well, I think, yeah, I think they're not necessarily the obvious choice for these roles. And I think that's part of the beauty of them doing it, to be honest. Um, it was a really boring story, but it's a really, it was a really easy casting process. We got the script to Stan Lee, uh, first of all, and he just kind of loved it and fell in love with it and wanted to do it. And we met and almost instantly uh, hit it off. And, and I really wanted to work with two actors, hopefully that knew each other a bit. Um, and when he suggested Colin and then told me that Colin had actually read the film and loved it, um, it, was, it was as easy as that really. Um, but I think you're right. I think there's there's something very surprising and really lovely and warm uh, and uh, uninhibited that they bring out of each other in this film. Absolutely. Like everything they do just feels so plausible and uh, effortless and easy. And that's really hard to do. Um, and um, yeah, we, we all we all worked really hard to make that happen. All, th all three of us. But, you know, those guys. Yeah, did a good job for sure. And it, sh and it shows on screen. I mean, this is such an amazing film and it, and it truly touched me on such a personal level. But look, Harry, thank you so much for your time and just, uh, just chatting with me. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, thanks, Joe. Appreciate it too. Yeah.